Welcome to this video tutorial covering full dentures with InLab Software 20, manufacturing options with InLab CAM 20. In this video, we will show you how to produce full dentures with InLab CAM 20 and the InLab MCX5. You first set up a new order. Under Job Details, you can assign a name to your new order and choose the InLab MCX5 as the production unit. Located in the Items list are all the exported restoration objects from the InLab CAD software, such as the denture base or tooth segments. Select the objects to be produced in this milling job. Continue by determining which blank is to be used. In the Blanks list, you will find the available blanks. In this step, new blanks can be added manually or by scanning the QR code on the disk. Choose the desired blank and click Next. An automatic pre-positioning of the chosen objects takes place within the blank. In the horizontal view, the objects can be moved by holding down the right mouse button and rotated in the view plane by holding down the left mouse button. In the vertical view, a precise vertical positioning of the object can take place, such as in polychromatic layered disks. The 3D mode allows free positioning of the object within the disk. An exact shifting of the object can additionally be obtained by holding down either the Shift, Control, or Alt keys, and be moved or rotated using the object axes. Collisions are indicated by shading the object. When all objects are correctly positioned, continue with the positioning of the sprue locations. Various types of sprues are available. Thinned, wide thinned, cut, and not thinned. When all sprues points are correctly defined, click Next. The milling result can be simulated and checked in the produce phase. By means of simulation, the desired detail level and preferred machining mode can be selected. Before the milling process is started, the tools or the tool magazine can be checked. If necessary, a new tool magazine can be created. When a correctly equipped tool magazine is selected, the milling job can be transferred to the InLab MCX5. After inserting the tool magazine and the disc, the milling job can also be started directly on the InLab MCX5 by pressing the Start button. A further milling job is created to manufacture the denture base. This can be done parallel to a running milling job. Select the denture base. In many cases, a suitable blank can also be selected automatically on request. Select a desired blank and click on Next. Due to the complex design of a denture base, it is recommended to activate the Minimize Undercuts option to achieve an optimal milling result. There's an automatic, comprehensive reduction of the undercuts. The 
the number of remaining sprue locations can be reduced to minimize the required manual adjustment. In the Produce phase, the production options can be adjusted as usual. If an InLab MCX5 is available, the milling job can immediately be started. Several jobs can be executed simultaneously with different Densply Serona manufacturing units. Additional production options are available for manufacturing a denture base designed for IPN 3D denture teeth. The option Pockets Only causes the milling process to be carried out in two steps. In the first step, only the tooth pockets are prepared for bonding the teeth. In the second step, the entire denture is fabricated. The Material Clearing option mills more material over a wide area to have better access when bonding the denture teeth onto the denture base. If an InLab MCX5 is available, the milling job can be started immediately. Further milling jobs can be created using the same principle or by using automated blank selection. When the milling is complete, the job can be removed from the InLab MCX5.